Hey everybody, this is Trevor here from the Wonder of Cichlids. Just going to go through uh, the fish room here for the next 30-40 minutes or so and show you what we have in stock. It's been a while since I got a video done, so I apologize for that, but uh, life has been very busy. Here we go. So, we're going to start off with the Bencha Benga. Some real nice meals here. I apologize about the glare from some of the lighting. It's like the whole room is lit, so it's very hard um, to get everything perfect, you know. Some nice males and females here in this lot. Spawning already. Okay, we've got some of the red flush. Some young males here, nice females as well. And here we've got some all on a bike color. So you might see there some of the photos with the names I have on the tanks. I done that because people were telling me they couldn't understand the name of the fish. Some people just don't can't pick up my accent, I suppose. So I thought that would help. It also helps with the locals too that come by and you know people that are looking for juveniles. They get to see what the fish will look like as they get older. But those are the bike color. Here down here we've got some all some all in the car, little winnie chitande. So some nice young males here showing some nice promise so far. One of the more passive all in the car. These guys are starting to put on a real nice colour. And here we have some Jano Reef. Some nice young males, showing plenty of colour. There's a lot of glare in this guy, so I apologise. But there isn't too much I can do about it. So, there's your nice Jano Reef, some nice quality in these guys. Plenty of females too, if you want to breed something. And here we've got some young fryer IOB hybrid type. And here we got some mainland diacles reef. Some guys getting nice colour in here, nice sulphur heads. The other Nakara sulphur head. And some nice females over here. And 
Hands here we've got some autothonic citrostigma. Some nice young males here showing nice red in the fins. Really starting to colour up nicely. Can't go wrong with the green on these guys, that's for sure. Now this is something you don't see every day. Copiochromus cyanus, Zimbabwe rock. Meal just starting to colour up a small bit here. There's about three males and six females in this group. This is one of those rare fish you don't see every day. Rare Copiochromus. So if there's anybody interested in breeding a nice rare fish, this definitely fits the bill for sure. And here we've got some Olinacara, Mammalilla, and do lemon jakes. Beautiful colour on these guys. One of the nicest lemon jakes available in my opinion. Massive colour on these guys. Showing good finish as well, even some of the smaller males there, like their fins are spectacular. Here we've got some Copula Chromus, Azorus Lubenji, one of the nicest blue around. Perhaps you can get. These guys are just starting to put on some real nice colour. And here we've got some of the Stuart Grant Dye Shalomba, another beautiful blue peacock. These guys get some nice detail in their fins, the tail fins. You can see it here in one or two of them. Beautiful blue fish with beautiful detail in the fins. And here we've got um, the firefish, another hybrid type. So you can see there's uh, some deep colors here, some more like a tangerine type, you know. And there's some a nice array of colors in these guys, you know. Some females there as well with them. So these are your firefish. I quite like the mix of color actually. I think that's what you'd call last tangerine, I'm not sure. But yeah, I like that guy here front and center, you know. And then I like something here as well. Nice contrast between both of them. And then here we've got another fish you don't see every day, the Niacochromus prostoma bone. There's about um Three males, six females in this uh, batch as well. These guys taking a while to colour up, but 
They're a beautiful fish if there's anybody into breeding. These are definitely a fish to breed, you know. Just an outstanding fish. I really like them. Oh, this is a fish I haven't had in a while. That's the Olanacara, Jacob Freeburgy, Cape McClear. As these guys mature, they get more red in the anal fin as well. Very similar to the other point. Oh, those are the cave right there. And here's something you don't see every day either. The Prolomelus melanotus, Mabinjai. The big Prolomelus that gets a sulfur head. These guys are a good size, but they're still a long way off from like full color. But you can see some are starting to get there. But uh, this is a fish definitely worth breeding. I have five females here, five males. So if there's someone looking for a breeding group of one male, five females, I definitely have them. And here we go. The lightning is the lighting isn't the best down here guys. So I apologize, but these the one they're fantastic. Beautiful colour. Very skittish though. Apologize, but just amazing color on these. All the males are so nice. Sorry about the reflection, there's not much I can do. So here we've got some line bread Eureka Reds, some young males as they mature, they fill out, they get more of the red, they lose the kind of the dark brownish and they get more red. There's some nice males here. So, here we've got some young male compercepts, and I've got some young male um, rhodesi, child of the tapia, rhodesi. Well, these guys are just starting to show some nice colour. So they're mostly young males, but they're, they're getting there, they're getting some nice colour. And here we go down here. We've got some nice living stone eye males, nice living stone eye females.
some more bee on the Nicara. So here we've got some young Christie males. Here's one just starting to color up. And we've got some nice young trout male back here just starting to color up as well. Got some nice chance of chromas. So there's plenty of males here, some nice Christiae, some nice chumps of chromas. And here we've got some Eustacea, the Vincent. Another beautiful on the Macara. And here we've got some Friar Iceberg. And some guys with a lot of white, some guys with just a white blaze. This guy up here starting to develop his. So these guys are young males, but they're nice. And here we've got one of the rear roll in the car. The Mazenzi Reef, you know, color. These guys are one of my favorites. What I like about these guys is that the males don't bother each other too much. You all stuck in here in a 55 gallon tank and they do really well together. And here we have another beautiful on the camera, the Salosai green face. These guys are young, they're just starting to develop on that color. Here's another fish we got in. The Latin Rops Marginatus, Marginatus Redfin, I should say. 
some nice young males here really starting to colour up a lot of these guys were pre-ordered so um, they're gonna they look good you know And here we've got some beautiful Protomelis Seed Moy Taiwan Reef. Nice ivory heads in these and ready in offense. Nice hedge bearing also. And here we've got some Olenacara, Hussairai Midnight Lacomas, another one of my uh, favourite peacocks. Some nice males here starting to colour up, plenty females also. Uh, here we've got another hybrid type. The fly rice, no rice. You can see there's some nice males here starting to turn color. Another few months, these guys will be spectacular. Plenty females here with this patch. So here we've got some nice young red empress males. Really showing nice color. Pretty females here as well. And we've got the uh, spilling all this Tanzanian. Well, some of these males are around four inches just over it. They're a bit skittish down in this bottom tank, but and they're showing some great colour already, you know. I've, I've sent out some beautiful uh, some beautiful spilling orders over the years, let me tell you, but um, this train is fairly nice. Uh, these guys are too skittish. Here we've got some managenus. Young male here. Big female. You can see her tube is just starting to drop up. Another male coming into picture.
Two of those would be Anagenis. And here we've got some young Venustus, beautiful strain, they're a German yellow strain, but um, these are all some young males and females, it's going to take them a while before they start showing their beautiful yellow. Okay, we've got some middle of the white lips. Nice strain, just getting the nice white lips on them. No humps, no lumps. Very clean strain. And here we have the little bit sulfur head, not a pure strain, not to be mixed up with the Zimbabwe rocks, these guys are definitely lime bread for more yellow. Here we've got some young male, Phenochylus, Tanzanian, the Pingus, and the Star Sapphires. So these guys are young. Once they start speckling up, man, they're like, I sold a lot of these long over the years, and it's unbelievable just to see the transformation in the males. How much they've come on, like, over a year to two years, especially. That's the good thing about social media, is that you sell these fish and then like over time you get to see them and uh, it's just amazing to see the transformation, you know. Lighting isn't the best in these tanks here either. It's like it's basically like fish room lighting. It isn't designed to make these fish pop. But here we've got some header down gold. As you can see at the picture reference, like these guys, it takes some time to get color, but once they get it, they're beautiful fish. So that's the header down gold. Another header down here. This is the Mylochromus then. Uh, from us, just starting to get some color. Well, these are some of the other guys that it takes them a bit of time, but they're just a beautiful fish. There is a Moriai blue dolphin in here, but he's actually heading out this week. So this is one reason I done the photos with the names because I've been getting in a lot of uh, cool juveniles work growing out and breathing and this you know this is a beautiful strain here of Placidochromus species blue water from uh, Tisano rocks so obviously like showing a fish like this you're not seeing much but at least with the picture you can see like what the heritage is you know and the bloodline and uh, these are a beautiful fish. Uh, 
and the Hyundai Villa, Hyundai Villa, so Rob is a favorite. A little bit skittish. I'm very happy to see him here. Another very rare hat for the other Far X species, Walter Ryan. Right? Some nice juveniles here. This isn't the fish you're going to see available every day, that's for sure. So some nice juveniles. Well, you should definitely Google these guys because this isn't the fish that's going to be available too often, you know. So for you guys that really like the real rare stuff, this is one for you. Another beautiful play fish I just got in, the Mylochromus species in the case. You can see that these guys are stunning. And here are the little juveniles. So that's one of the breeder males you'll see in the picture. And this is the potential for these guys, you know. So those are the Mikus. So as well as the bigger all and the Cara, we've got in some juveniles as well. So we, we've got in some nice juveniles here, very skittish type, but there's even a few males back here like showing colour already. I spot three back there showing nice colour. Even though the males are showing colour, these are all going to be sold as unsexed. And if you buy a group of six to ten, whatever, you know, you're going to get a nice meal in the group. I'm not going to cherry pick the meals, so the people buying the group will end up with nothing, only females. So if you're looking for some really nice uh, young ruby reds, and you don't want adults, these are them. Another very rare protomelis. Absolutely stunning proto these guys are. We've got plenty of decent sized juvies here as well. Very clean and healthy. All these juveniles, and they're so clean and healthy, it's not even funny, like, you know. We we'll get all of these guys in, like, I think we've got in like 40 and 50 some species, and like, we didn't lose one, not one the way on arrival from Germany, which is amazing, you know. This is a beautiful rear Latin Rocks. Yours in the Cala Bay. So, like that, plenty more juveniles of these guys. Really like a young male here already starting to show a small bit, which is nice. The same with these guys, these are nice juveniles looking good. These guys definitely do better in species only tanks. Hopefully you can see them, I'm trying to get out of the reflection here, but I don't know if it helped them or making it worse, you know. And here we've got some young male. Ruby reds. I'll end it with these guys, you know. So I know there's a lot of discussion about the red and ruby reds, but I'll just tell you my piece is that these guys definitely do best in species only tanks, you know. If you put them in mixed tanks, they're not going to show as much red as they mature. And another big thing about this fish is that they need like uh, a food that suits red fish, you know, a food high in anisaxon, food made from krill shrimp, red salmon, anything that brings out reds because it helps. When I had my breeding group I basically made my own food for the ruby reds and everything that was in it was all suitable for um, red fish and uh, it does make a big difference you know having them in a species only tank and 
you know, putting them in there, getting in that red food. A lot of the foods on the market are more suitable to blues, greens, you know, yellows, and it actually works against the red. So that's just something to keep in mind with ruby reds, you know. If you can get their diet right and get them a nice red diet, you'll see those colors pop, you know. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope I didn't ramble on too long. And I do apologize for some of the reflection. You can see like the Hongai Deluxe in some of the tanks. It's very hard to get done some of the fish because they scatter and they hide. But hopefully like the pictures are going to help, you know, show what these fish look like when they're mature. And like I said, thanks again for watching guys. And for all of you that I haven't talked to over the Christmas and the New Year, the holiday season, I just wanted to wish every one of you a happy New Year. You guys are the reason I do this and I get to do it and I wouldn't want to do anything else because this is the best thing in the world. I'm working with fish every day. And uh, so I just want to take this quick opportunity to um, thank you all. You are the best and that's for sure. And um, keep it going, like, guys. It's a great hobby. Let's keep everything, um, you know, positive and happy in the industry because it's like there's nothing better than keeping live fish, man. It's, it's just unbelievable. And I hate if I'm rambling on a bit, but... Um, I just love doing this honestly every day it's um you know i don't even consider this a job whatsoever like this is like i get to play with fish every day you know but um guys i'll put all the information on the bio check us out on facebook the wonder of cichlids and check us out on uh, you know check us out there on um instagram <laughs> you know uh, the wonder of but i'll put it all in the bio take care god bless and thank you all